Dive into the shadowy world of the Mafia, where honor, betrayal, and violence intertwine. Today, we delve into the dangerous life of Billy Batts, a man who lived by the Mafia code and died by it. In the tumultuous era of the 60s and 70s, the Mafia was not just an underworld organization, it was a way of life for many. Governed by a rigid set of rules, the Mafia operated under a hierarchical structure as rigid as any legitimate organization. At the apex sat the boss, the underboss, and the consigliere, followed by capos, soldiers, and associates. These men lived and breathed the Mafia's code of honor, omerta, a vow of silence that sealed their lips against the prying eyes of the law. Amidst this clandestine landscape, one family reigned supreme, the Gambino crime family. With their hands in everything from loan sharking and illegal gambling to labor racketeering and murder for hire, the Gambinos were the epitome of organized crime. And within this notorious family, a man named Billy Batts carved out a name for himself. William Billy Batts Bent Vina was not your average mobster. A prominent figure within the Gambino family, he rose through the ranks with an audacious mix of charm, ruthlessness, and cunning. Batts was a man who knew how to play the game, to navigate the treacherous waters of the Mafia. He was the embodiment of the Mafia's allure, a man who thrived amidst the danger and the power. Yet for all his cunning and audacity, Batts was not immune to the perilous nature of his chosen path. Like many before him, he was drawn into the whirlwind of violence and betrayal that was the Mafia's dark underbelly. His involvement in illegal activities, including a conviction for heroin smuggling in 1962, was a testament to the risks he was willing to take. Billy Batts was no ordinary man, his life was a testament to the deadly allure of power in the Mafia world. Billy Batts, born as William Bentvina, started as a small pawn in the grand chessboard of the Mafia. His rise, however, was anything but small. In the shadowy world of the New York City Mafia during the tumultuous decades of the 60s and 70s, one name rose through the ranks creating ripples of fear and respect. Billy Batts. Bentvina, a child of the city's gritty streets, was the epitome of a self-made man, albeit in a world where the rules were written in blood and betrayal. As a young man Billy Batts was drawn into the alluring yet dangerous world of the Mafia, an underworld that promised power, respect and riches for those bold enough to seize them. He was not content to be a mere pawn, he was a player, a fighter, a survivor, he was a man determined to carve his own path, no matter the cost. Batts found his place within the notorious Gambino crime family, one of the five families that held sway over the Mafia's operations in New York City. His rise within the organization was meteoric, his ambition and ruthlessness propelling him through the ranks. However, this rise to power was not without its shadows. Batz's ambition led him down a dark path, one that entangled him in a web of illicit activities. The year 1962 marked a significant milestone in his life, a testament to his audacity and his disregard for the law. Convicted for heroin smuggling, Batz was a man who played by his own rules, even if they were on the wrong side of the law. Despite the conviction, Batts continued his ascent, his reputation growing within the Mafia and beyond, he was a force to be reckoned with, a man who had risen from the ashes of his past to stand among the titans of the underworld. Billy Batts had clawed his way to the top, but as he would soon discover, the higher one climbs, the harder one falls. In the world of the Mafia, power struggles are as common as they are deadly. For Billy Batts, it was a struggle that cost him his life. Imagine the year 1970, a time when the Mafia was a formidable force in New York City. Billy Batts, a man who had once been at the top of the Gambino crime family, found himself caught in a deadly power struggle. Batts had been involved in illegal activities, including heroin smuggling, which had led to his conviction in 1962. But it was not his illegal ventures that led to his downfall, it was the treacherous world of the Mafia itself. In the midst of this turbulent world, two fellow mobsters, Thomas Tommy, DeSimone and Henry Hill, emerged as key figures in Batts' tragic end. DeSimone and Hill, driven by ambition and greed, saw an opportunity in the power vacuum that had formed around Batts. The details around Batts' murder are chilling. It's said that DeSimone and Hill, along with their accomplices, lured Batts into a trap under the guise of a friendly gathering. What followed was a brutal and senseless act of violence that shook the underworld to its core. Batts, a man who had once wielded considerable power and influence, was left helpless in the face of his own comrade's betrayal. 
His murder served as a stark reminder of the deadly consequences of power struggles within the Mafia. His life brutally taken away, Billy Batts became a symbol of the deadly consequences of power struggles within the Mafia. His story serves as a chilling testament to the treacherous world of organized crime, where loyalty can be fleeting, and power is often won at a devastating cost. Despite his violent end, Billy Batts left a lasting impact on the Mafia, his story continues to captivate us all. His life was a testament to the gritty reality of mob life in the 60s and 70s, a world where respect was earned through fear and intimidation. Batts was known for his ruthless approach to business, a trait that helped him rise through the ranks of the Gambino crime family. Yet, his penchant for violence and power also led to his downfall. His brutal murder, part of a power struggle within the Mafia, left a legacy of fear and respect that still echoes through the underworld. His life and death served as a stark reminder of the precarious balance of power within the Mafia. It highlighted the deadly consequences of crossing the wrong people, and the constant, looming threat of betrayal. Batz's murder was a pivotal moment in Mafia history, a turning point that signaled the end of an era and the beginning of a new, more ruthless one. Batz's story has been immortalized in various forms of media, testament to its enduring fascination. His life and death have been portrayed in films, books, and television series, each version painting a different picture of the man and the world he lived in. These portrayals have helped keep his memory alive, ensuring that his legacy continues to captivate new generations. His story serves as a cautionary tale, a stark reminder of the dangerous allure of power and the high price often paid for it. It's a tale of ambition, betrayal, and revenge, set against the backdrop of the Mafia's heyday. The life and death of Billy Batts offer a glimpse into a world that most of us only know from movies and books. It's a world where loyalty is prized above all else and where betrayals are met with swift and brutal retribution. In the end, Billy Batts' story is a chilling reminder of the dangerous allure of power and the deadly consequences of betrayal in the world of the Mafia. His life and death serve as a stark reminder of the high price of power and the deadly consequences of betrayal. His legacy continues to captivate and serve as a cautionary tale for those who dare to tread the dangerous path of the Mafia.